Here are the top 25 football movies of all time, ranked using critic ratings, user ratings, box office totals, and votes from various websites. Check the link in the description for my complete list of over 95 football movies. Number 25. Lucas. A socially inept 14-year-old experiences heartbreak for the first time when his two best friends fall in love with each other, starring Corey Haim, Cary Green, and Charlie Sheen. This was also the feature film debut of both Winona Ryder and Jeremy Piven. This is a top three highest rated movie according to Metacritic, also known as Metascore. Number 24. Safety. A freshman football player secretly raises his younger brother on college campus after his home life becomes unsteady. This movie is released directly for streaming on Disney+. It's a top three highest rated according to TMDB. Number 23, The Longest Yard. A quarterback and a former coach put together a team of inmates to play a football game against the prison guards. Starring Adam Sandler and Chris Rock. This is a remake of The Longest Yard from 1974 starring Burt Reynolds who also stars in this version as the coach. This is the top three highest grossing movie at the box office. Number 22, The Program. Several players from different backgrounds try to cope with the pressures of playing college football at a major university. Starring James Caan, Holly Berry, and Omar Epps. Holly Berry also appears in The Last Boy Scout, another football movie that didn't quite make the top 25. Number 21, All the Right Moves. A football star dreams of getting out of his small town, but his equally ambitious coach has other plans that could crush his dreams. Starring Tom Cruise and Leah Thompson. Craig T. Nelson plays the coach. He would later play Coach Hayden Fox in the long-running television series Coach that debuted in 1989. Here are four movies that didn't make my top 25 but appeared on several published lists on the internet. Let me know if you think any of these should have been in the top 25. Number 20, American Underdog. The true story of a football player who went from working at a grocery store to the Super Bowl, League MVP, and the Hall of Fame. Starring Zachary Levi and Anna Paquin. Also starring Dennis Quaid, who appears in four football movies. American Underdog, Any Given Sunday, Everybody's All-American, and The Express. This is the highest rated movie according to Rotten Tomato audiences, and it has an A-plus cinema score. Number 19, Concussion. A forensic neuropathologist makes the first discovery of CTE and fights to uncover the truth about football-related brain trauma, starring Will Smith and Alec Baldwin. Football helmets have warning stickers indicating that players should not use the helmet to butt, ram, or spear an opponent, and no helmet can prevent all such injuries. Number 18, the Express, the inspirational story about the life of college football hero Ernie Davis, the first African American to win the Heisman Trophy, starring Rob Brown and Dennis Quaid. Rob Brown also appears in two other sports movies, the basketball movies Coach Carter and Finding Forrester. Number 17, The Replacements. A maverick coach dusts off a secret dossier of ex-players and screw-ups and knits together a replacement team during a player strike starring Keanu Reeves and Gene Hackman. Gene Hackman also played a basketball coach in the movie Hoosiers. Keanu Reeves played a former Ohio State quarterback in this movie and also in Point Break as Johnny Utah. Number 16, Gridiron Gang. Under the leadership of their counselor, teenagers at a juvenile detention center learn discipline and self-esteem while playing football together, starring Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne Johnson played college football and in the Canadian Football League. He's also part of an investment group that owns the XFL. He also appears in the Game Plan from 2007 and the Ballers TV series from 2015 to 2019. And here are a few more movies with notable actors that didn't quite make the top 25. Number 15, Heaven Can Wait. Accidentally taken from his body by an overanxious angel, a quarterback returns to life in the body of a recently murdered millionaire, starring Warren Beatty and Julie Christie. This is a remake of Here Comes Mr. Jordan from 1941 and its sequel Down to Earth from 1947. This is a top three rated movie according to Rotten Tomatoes. Number 14, Draft Day. At the NFL Draft, a general manager has a rare opportunity to rebuild his team through a series of risky trades, starring Kevin Costner and Jennifer Garner. Kevin Costner appears in multiple sports movies, including at least three baseball movies. Number 13, Varsity Blues. When a star player is injured, the team must regroup under the questionable leadership of their new quarterback. Starring James Vanderbeek, Amy Smart, John Voight, and Paul Walker. Also starring Allie Larder, who wore a whipped cream bikini in what is generally considered the film's most iconic scene. Number 12, North Dallas 40. A veteran football player is benched as he struggles with painkillers, individuality, and resentment by his coaches. Starring Nick Nolte and Mac Davis. Loosely based on the real-life NFL Dallas Cowboys team of the late 1960s and early 70s. This is the highest rated movie according to Metacritic and a top three on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 11, Invincible. A 30-year-old bartender with nothing to lose overcomes the odds and earns a shot in an open tryout for his hometown football team. 
starring Mark Wahlberg and Elizabeth Banks. Philadelphia Eagles coach Dick Vermeil, played by Greg Kinnear, was also the coach of the St. Louis Rams in the movie American Underdog, where he was played by Dennis Quaid. And here are four more movies that didn't quite make my top 25 due to a recency bias. These ones are old. Number 10. The Water Boy. A water boy for a college football team discovers a unique tackling ability and hidden rage that helps vault his team into contention. Starring Adam Sandler and Kathy Bates. This was the first Adam Sandler movie to reach over $100 million at the box office. He also stars in The Longest Yard. Number 9. We Are Marshall. When a plane crash claims the lives of a football team, the new coach and surviving players try to keep the football program alive. Starring Matthew McConaughey and Matthew Fox. Based on a true story. Many sports movies are in fact based on true stories, including 11 of the 25 movies on this list. Number 8. The Longest Yard. A sadistic warden enlists a former pro quarterback to put together a team of inmates to take on the prison guards in a football game. Starring Burt Reynolds. This movie has two remakes, The Longest Yard from 2005 starring Adam Sandler and Mean Machine from 2001 starring Vinnie Jones, a British remake about soccer. Number 7, Brian's Song. Based on real-life football teammates and their bond established and one of them discovers he has cancer. Starring James Caan and Billy Dee Williams. Often considered one of the greatest made-for-TV movies ever, it was an ABC movie of the week in 1971. Highest rated on Rotten Tomatoes and a top 3 rated on IMDb. Number 6, The Blind Side. A homeless, traumatized boy becomes an All-American football player and NFL draft pick with the help of a caring woman and her family, starring Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock won the Best Actress Oscar and the Worst Actress Razzie for All About Steve in the same calendar year. She attended both award shows on the same weekend and accepted her awards. This is the highest grossing movie on the list. It's also the highest rated on TMDB, Just Watch, Cinema Score, and has the highest number of total ratings. Here are four highly rated movies with football themes, but didn't make the top 25 because I didn't think they're really about football. Number five, Jerry Maguire. A successful sports agent loses his job and must start over with one client athlete and a former colleague that stays with him. Starring Tom Cruise and Cuba Gooding Jr. Jerry Maguire is known for two of the most famous movie quotes of all time. You had me at hello and show me the money. This is a top three rated at the box office, Metacritic, Rotten Tomatoes, Letterboxd, and Total Ratings. Number four, any given Sunday. The pressure of winning is amplified when an injured quarterback, an aging coach, and a new owner must prove themselves. Starring Al Pacino, Cameron Diaz, and Jamie Foxx. Director Oliver Stone tried and failed to get the NFL's permission to use real team logos and stadiums for the film. This movie appears on every list I found on the internet. Number three, Friday Night Lights. A star player's injury stirs up dormant social problems in a small Texas town where high school football has become an unhealthy obsession, starring Billy Bob Thornton and Lucas Black. Friday Night Lights was turned into a television series that ran from 2006 to 2011. This is a top three rated movie on Letterboxd and a top three of the average list rankings found on the internet. Number two. Remember the Titans. A racially integrated football team becomes the unifying symbol for the community as two men overcome their differences and turn a group of young men into champions. Starring Denzel Washington and Will Patton. Remember the Titans originally had an R-rated script for language, but was retooled to fit within a more family-friendly PG rating. This is the highest rated movie on IMDb, Letterboxd, and has an A-plus cinema score plus a top three in several other categories, including the average list rankings, where it comes in in the top three, but not quite at number one. And before we get to number one, please subscribe for more videos like this, or leave a comment if I miss something important. Number one, Rudy. A young man with bad grades and poor athletic ability is determined to overcome the odds and fulfill his dream of playing football for Notre Dame, starring Sean Astin. Hall of Fame quarterback Joe Montana was a freshman when Rudy was a senior on the Notre Dame football team. In a radio interview, Joe made some controversial comments that debunked parts of the story. This is a top three movie on IMDb, Tomato Audiences, Just Watch, and was number one average ranking across all the lists I found on the internet. Movies were ranked using critic ratings, user ratings, box office totals, published rankings, and votes from various movie rating websites. Check the link in the description for my complete list of over 95 football movies.